Yeah, 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 rah. So we just got done talking about Michael Jordan winning a tainted Defensive Player of the Year award in 1987-1988. Also, Alex Rucker, he showed receipts. The NBA doesn't want to talk about it. And the Memphis Grizzlies, who he used to be employed for, they don't want to talk about it as well. So we know the deal. And if, like I say, if the story changes, we'll go ahead and cover that. Going to go ahead and jump to the National Football League where we talk about coaches that are on the hot seat. Now, this comes out of CBS Sports and Cody Benjamin. Now, some of the names in the article, I'm like, okay, I kind of get it. And then there's some of the on the list. And I'm like, really? These guys were in the playoffs last year and had a deep run. How could this guy's job already be on the line? That's one of the things in Benjamin's piece that puzzles me and infuriates me because you don't know how much of this is true versus how much of this is just him pulling stuff out of his ass. I guess that's the mark of a good writer. (laughs) And I'll lay it out for you, the names, the records, and then you tell me if you buying or selling this. And we'll do all of that when we come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Vern at App Stupid. Roll a clip. Yes, BK, have it your way. You rule. Order online, download the app, or visit your good folks at your local Burger King. BK, have it your way, because you rule. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and lay out these names. So he's got on here Sean McDermott from the Bull, uh, the Bills, I'm sorry, the head coach. Uh, he's been there for eight years. His record 73 and 41, and a playoff record of five and six. I don't know if I agree with that one. I mean, before he came there, Buffalo was a joke. And he was pulling, getting them out there, getting Josh Allen ready. And Josh Allen just started playing good like four years ago. But it was, I don't know. That one, I don't know. Todd Bowles down in Tampa. He's been there for three years. His record is 17 to 17 and one and two in the playoffs. However, they could have been playing in the NFC championship game. I think they lost to Detroit. I, and plus, he was on the team when Brady and all them won a Super Bowl. I, I, again, uh, Nick Serrani, he's the Eagles head coach. This is his fourth year. He's 34 and 17 with a playoff record of two and three. I don't think that they're going to fire him if they don't make the playoffs. I just don't. Then you've got Mike McCarthy in Dallas. He's been there for five years. His record, 42-25. and 25. His playoff record is 1-3. and three. Yeah, that could be some truth to that. I think we've covered that on the program where he went out and he hired the Vikings ex-coach he used to coach against to be his defensive coordinator. And Dallas hasn't made any moves in the offseason. Dak likes the weapons that he has, and the Cowboys like their chances, so they're holding their cards. I don't know how this is going to play out, but, you know, Mike McCarthy probably could be on that seat. Matt Eberflux. He's the Bears head coach. He's in his third year. He's 10-24. and He's never been to the playoffs. He should have been fired last year. And make no mistake, when I kept telling people that I don't think you all should go after Caleb Williams, the Bears pulled the trigger. And I was sitting here saying, if you went after Caleb Williams, you should have went after Cliff Kingsbury. Because they have a relationship. And not only do they have a relationship, but he's the one who really got Caleb Williams that national profile with their air raid offense 
and that's something that you can't mimic because cliff knows everything in his head so even if you do try to give him some packages he recognizes you didn't go out and get the offensive coordinator that you're going to need to pull this thing off chicago had a very good draft i'm not going to sit here and hold you why lie to you but at the same time you got to go get the architect that help you build that and when that wasn't a thing and then now cliff is in washington now he's out there with quinn you know it's kind of like if chicago starts to dip early then ebra floods could be fired before he could be fired before november again we'll just have to see dennis allen the saints head coach he's been there for three years his record is 16 and 18 he's never made the playoffs I don't have a beef with his uh, assessment that Allen saying it's playoffs or bust for both him and Carr. Again, I don't have a beef in this article that uh, Cody Benjamin wrote when he talks about Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen uh, with the new with the New Orleans Saints, they went after David Carr. They threw their lot in, and pretty much it is what it is. Look at what it's done for you. Then there's a guy that we talked about early, and I said this before anybody ever even put this together. Brian Danball, dumbass Danball, and he's the Giants head coach in his third year. He's 15 and 18 and one. His playoff record is one and one. Now, I agree with his view on this guy because New York doesn't keep a coach more than two years, and without Saquon Barkley, he could be DOA. And again, before this piece even came out on our channel, you can go and look at that that uh, breakdown where we talked about the debacle from letting Saquon Barkley go to paying Daniel Jones all of this money and the Mara family right now telling him, you need to shop for a quarterback. You need to shop for a quarterback. I don't know whose decision it was to pay Daniel Smith all of this money this dude is human oatmeal and shoulder pads what the hell is on your mind and i get it you didn't want lamar jackson to have the headlines that this guy negotiated his own deal he got everything he wanted he cut agents out and it's a high profile guy doing this i get it and you could have done that with anybody but daniel jones get out of here so yeah, Brian Danball deserves to be fired. Then Robert Robert Salah, the the Jets head coach, it's his fourth year and he's eighteen and thirty three. He's never made the playoffs. <laughs> Again, yes, he deserves to be fired. He should have been fired last year. The whole Aaron Rodgers debacle. Aaron Rodgers is holding press conferences to talk about absolutely nothing. If you don't want to win, get out of this building, yada, 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 yada. And then me and him, we played the same amount of minutes for the Jets last year. Absolutely zero. But he's in here running his mouth off. He got guys to leave teams that pretty much was like, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to build this thing. And, and we got this dynasty. And Aaron Rodgers has single-handedly, he's put a target on his back. Now, if the Jets aren't anything this year, he's got to take that criticism. And I tell you what, I'll be here to give that dude criticism all day long because I feel like he's the biggest con job out there in the NFL. If you talk about a guy milking it in one Super Bowl damn near 15 years ago, he's your guy. He's your guy. So, yeah, the pitch and catch era is over. This dude is still out here running his mouth. Yeah, it's time to find out. It's time to find out about you, Aaron Rodgers, because Stephen A. Smith, be, he may be paid to say, you're a bad man, and I, I just know I love me some Aaron Rodgers. He's a, Shut your ass up, Stephen A. Smith. He ain't no bad man. He's robbing organizations without a mask and a gun. So where do you sit? Do you think that these guys should be fired? 
I think so. Uh, just looking at the record, I, I can definitely tell you Brian Danball needs to be fired in New York. I can tell you that Robert Salah, his time is up. And Eber Flux, he should have been fired two years ago. So, like I say, those firings I'm paying close attention to in this coming NFL season. But let me know what you think. We got a lot more show to go. This is Big Bird of That Stupid. <laughs>